Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Skyrim. It's episode three of our blind playthrough of Skyrim. And uh, in between episodes, I actually took a quick second to change a couple of the settings. So uh, a couple of the graphical settings. We're going to test out a slightly higher level of detail on, on some of the settings and, and, and shadows and stuff. And, uh, and we'll just keep adjusting from there every couple episodes seeing if it affects performance at all um and just kind of seeing what we can get away with in terms of good quality i got a good pc over here so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll do it hey in the last episode <clears throat> we escaped the like helgen we escaped helgen we traveled in the open world a little bit and now we're here at river fell river wood we're here in river river wood and uh i'm supposed to go in here and, and talk to somebody what is my quest again I hit escape. Talk to Alver. Spo supposed to talk to, to Alvin in uh, in Riverwood. So, hey, that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. I'm having a blast. Uh, I'm trying not to... Uh, I'm trying not to, to orgasm too, uh, too greatly uh, during all of these ep episodes. Riverwood, by the way. Listen to that music. Solitude. Uh, any, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all, I'm all up in, I'm all up in this game and, and having a great time with it. Why did I have to describe it that way? That's a weird fucking way to describe it, Ryan. Are those stars? Is it nighttime? I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please. Dragons. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think it's true, motherfucker, Sven. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Uh oh. I believe you, uh, Hilda. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. I believe you. Actually, I I believe you. Do I count? Use the tanning rack. Tanning rack is used to turn animal hides into leather and to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. Okay. Here, the Riverwood trader was robbed. Poor Lucan must be torn to pieces over it. I have a couple of leather strips. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Poor Lucan must be... What do you want? Uh, what I want is, is, uh, is just to chat with you and get to know this town a little bit. That's all. Um, okay, Hilda, it's been, it's been real. It's been nice. I'm going to slaughter your chicken. I'm not going to slaughter your chicken. Ooh, if I unlock this, here's the question. If I unlock this, is this going to cause me problems? Like, is it going to piss people off? That's is she going to be mad? That's what I was looking for. It's red. Okay. It's red. <clears throat> okay, I can't take this stuff. Hi, Hilda. What's up, girl? It's my boy Sven you need to listen to. He sings at the inn most every night. Sven has the voice of a snow lark. Of a Only snow good lark. Thing. Only good thing he got from his father. My boy fancies that Camilla Valerius. She'll come around soon enough. Okay, Hilda, I barely have entered town, and already, all I'm hearing is a million pieces of information from you about motherfucking Sven. A new face, and the right ugly one at that. No offense. None taken, motherfucker. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. Why is the... I feel like the sound is so quiet. Um... Oh, not the lo not the mods again. Every time, man. Every time. Setting. Turn voice all the way up. Sure. Let's see if this is any better. At least the damned war hasn't gotten here yet. Sure, I hear that. Uh, okay, what do you got going on here, my my guy? Hood, Hodor. What do you got? Use the lumber pile. What the fuck? I'm strong as shit. Yo, he's ripped.
There's already a leg log ready to cut. Okay. Do I hit the button? We work hard. Try to do right by our family. Oh, that's cool. Yo, it drags it. Oh, this is cool. BRB, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be living my life as a, uh, as a small town, uh, small town lumber mill owner. BRB, I'm forgetting all of my real life responsibilities in, in owning a lumber mill in the game. Will it automatically turn off? It will. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? That's what I've heard. There are worse villages. There are worse villages, by the way. Did you guys know? Yo, uh, I was loading into the game earlier and I accidentally did this. Yeah. <sighs> just constant. I, I hit the F button. Just contemplating life out here in the. Uh, just looking at waterfalls out here in the good old Skyrim. Oh man, I'm so excited. I just have that feeling, you know? I just got that feeling where it's like... Woodcutter's axe? I'll take it. Uh, grindstone. I just have a feeling. I'm going to love this. I have a whole new world to hop into. I got hundreds of hours ahead of me in terms of uh, doing this. So, in grindstone to improve weapons... Sorry, I got the yawns. Uh, requires specific materials. Iron ingots? Firewood. Okay, great. I now know to look out for that. Let's go talk to our, our dude. Um, this way. We got a, we got a guy to talk to. Got to talk to Alvin the chipmunk. Um, in here, in, in here. Alvor and Sigrid. Got some great names for your kids there. Or for your family there. Dorth. <laughs> uh... Hey, look, it's Harvard! Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Ain't every day. So is there, is there Nordic, is there Nordic stuff going on here? Nordic slash Scandinavian stuff going on in this game? I'm just realizing. There's like, the design is like, like the little arrow on my dialogue right now is like kind of a, uh, kind of like Celtic in nature almost. I'm so bad at history for this part of the world, but. So is our little radar thing at the top. Uh, what can you tell me about Riverwood, by the way? Gerder's family first settled here Gerder. as woodcutters. A few generations ago, she and Hod run the mill. It's gotta be Scandinavian I vibes, right? I living, sharpening axes, and fixing the sawmill. Okay. So there's a sawmill, and then there's you. Uh, what do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nor That's what I thought, actually. Supported the Empire. Yep. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Okay, I, it has just occurred to me that I am a Nord. And Nords are definitely Nordic. So is the whole world based around Scandinavian stuff, or is it just the Nords? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dumb... I Listen, I've only had one cup of coffee today. Um, the Nords are definitely Nordic. That's That seems like the vibe. Why are the... Why are the Thalmor... Oh, I thought Thalmor was a person. Allowed to arrest people for worshipping Tala, uh, Talos. From that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos' worship, we didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. <clears throat> I like how it hovers. It keeps the the response, the thing you just said, up. That's nice. 
It's like, hey, this is what he's uh, answering. Do you have any supplies Cross. I could take? Take what you need. All of it? Mead, lockpick, iron ingots, hunting brew mead, grilled leeks, idar cheese wedge. I mean, I'll take it. An amethyst. There's something you could do for me. Okay, for what can I do? All of us here. The Yaro needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers okay. we can. If you'll do that for me, <clears throat> I'll be in your debt. Okay. Uh, talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Do you have any supplies I could take? I already did. Like I said, I'm glad yep. to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. I've already taken all your shit. Sounds good. How do I get to White Run? The river and then head north. You'll okay. see it just past the falls. Mm. Okay. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're a dragon's reach. Is that what I looked Jarl's at already? Palace. The pretty place? I bet that's what I looked at already. Can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf. He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Okay. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? Not me, you know. But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Is that... Is that what we want? You support the Empire? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Okay. We're slowly piecing together a picture of this world. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this okay, whole so war. Okay, so he killed her husband. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing yep. each other... One Jarl killed another one. Days. Okay. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. Good thing I do not. The grindstone will improve <laughs> your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If okay. you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Great. Uh, fantastic. Thank you, Alvar. You've been very helpful. Uh, awfully helpful. I can sleep here? It's currently 10 p.m. 11 p.m. Sleep for like eight hours. Cool. All right, we're learning. We are learning. Now it's a good it's a good morning. I can just take any of this shit. I can just take all your gold. Well fuck. I guess I will then. I don't know that did I need the really boots. See a dragon? Did I really see a dragon? Yes what I did. That for? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What's up? Hi Dorth. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. Yep. I'm his assistant. I can take I this stuff though. Oh, what do we got here? A Gentleman's Guide to Whiterun. By Mikhail the Bard. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide, will describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the Jewel of the North. Uh, diversions, fortune, companionship. <laughs> uh, maids and winches aplenty. Okay, Whiterun is the center of Skyrim. On a big hill. Um, wolves, mammoths, there's mammoths in this game? I can't wait to kill a mammoth, oh my god. And, uh, in a non... Listen, I just want to do it once. I don't want to wipe out the mammoths. I just want to do it once. I think it would be cool. 
there's three neighborhoods. Um, okay. Okay. Um, listing all of the women in the town. Okay. Um... The bard is in love with Carlotta Valentia. Okay. That sounds like a very uh, Nordic name. Car Carlotta Valentia. Sure. Um... Okay. Oh my god. It's just all of the women in the town. Jesus Christ. It's literally all of the women in the town. Okay, cool. Great, love it. Coin purse, fantastic. Lots it's of good nice stuff there. Back in a friendly spot, huh? I hear that, my friend. Listen, I hear Ooh. To solitude from here. Okay. I'd recommend heading to White Run, just down yep. the road from here. From there you can take a carriage to solitude. White Run, then I go to solitude? Why do I need to go to solitude actually? Use the cooking pot. Yo, let's cut let, let's cook some shit. Uh okay. Damn storm cloak rebels. I can just make pheasant roast. Yes. I and in solitude. Good luck. That's it. Thank you. Uh thank you, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good talk. Um Oh shit. What I keep bumping. I didn't mean to chill. It was an accident. Okay. An eye out for trouble. I a of will. Thank you. Keep Let an eye out for trouble. For trouble. What's in here? Goat hide? Gold straw. I don't know if I need that stuff. How do I know? It's a barrel with some salt pile. Keep a basket. An eye out for trouble. Hi, Sigrid. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't Keep an eye out for ideas. trouble. Okay. Uh, how do I get to White Run from here? Just I actually know this already. North. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. The Meadery, Hunting Brew. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. Okay. What do you think about the war? I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. Yeah. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Okay. Great, fantastic. Farewell. They gave you like no lines of dialogue. Um, hi Dorth. Did you really see a dragon? I did actually. It's crazy, but I saw it a couple times. Uh a little closely for my uh Oops, didn't mean to do that. What the fuck is that? That's a fish of some sort. A little closely for my uh for my taste as well, actually. Look at this pretty fucking game. Oh my god. Half the reason I slept was just so that I could come out here in the sunshine again. Jesus. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. I already talked to him, actually. Lucan over in the Riverwood trader says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. Is this going to tell me about the store? Supplies. Supplies? I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our I actually already talked to him. What can you tell me about Riverwood? It's my meal. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. Oh shit. The Yarl in White Run owns Are you Hodes? I just pay the Hor taxes. What Hodor's guy? Hodor okay. Hodor's wife, I mean. <laughs> guy. Guy? Uh okay, I came from this way. I'm going to go talk to him again cuz I think he might give me a uh, he might give me something to do. And then we'll go explore the rest of the of the town of River Run. Oops, I did not mean to drag that out. Where is he? Who are you? Did I see you talking to Sven? <clears throat> Maybe not. Maybe never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. River Why is that? Enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. For a Nord village, motherfucker. Can you train me to be better at archery? What's your problem with Sven? First off, he's a bard, <clears throat> so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. 
As if she would say yes. An intelligent, she might. beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. She might. I hope. Why, are you in love with her yourself? You hope? You don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. I don't even get an option? Can you train me to be better at archery? I'll show you what I know. Oh my god, she's in the back just just freaking chopping wood. I love it. And you can hear it. Uh it costs 200. Uh-oh. I only have uh-oh. Oh, I just paid for a level. Oh fuck. All right then. I thought I was actually going to get to do like a a thing. I just paid for a level. We're Damn. We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Okay, well, shit. Instead, I just spent literally all my money on that. Uh, that's fine, but uh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Hilda. Okay, now let's explore the rest of this shit. Let's explore the rest of this shit. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Do you need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Yes, please. Here's everything you need to make one. Oh my Go god. Ahead. Let's do it. So the other day, uh, nice in a... In a fit of random, uh, random... Oh my god, there's so much going on here. In a fit of random, uh, desire... I decided to pick up old school runescape again i'd only ever played like five minutes before like Whatever like probably 30 minutes before but i i downloaded it just to play it and it's so fun just to like randomly uh randomly hop into a game like that okay i want to make an iron dagger oh all i do is click on it you looking for a new blade no, I'm trying to give you an iron dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. Okay. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Okay. Okay, grindstone. Uh, right here. Grindstone. Um... I think I've done it. I think I just did it. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Good day. Did I do it or no? Temper and iron dagger. I thought I just did. It says E. Craft, yes. Get the even R. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, okay, we're doing it. Oh uh, yeah. You the sneaky type? Got some nice. Da this I'd sharpen the dar you. dagger for you. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? Yes. How about you make some armor? Let's do it. Start by tanning some leather on the rack. I love this shit. Uh, also, I'm going to ask you this, and, and then you can sell me stuff if you want. A hunting bow. Damage of eight. Mine's a damage of six. Okay, so maybe I should buy one of these hunting bows. Oh my god, a steel sword. Damage of nine. Whereas mine is a damage of eight. If I sell you this, I now have money. Oh, shit. What the fuck? This thing is strong. What does the bottom thing mean? I don't know. Oh, it's compared to the damage that I'm doing with my longbow, which is what's attacked. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I'm going to sell you a bunch of stuff then. Oh, we're doing it. Woodcutter's axe. Uh, sure. 
Um, okay, and then I'm gonna buy from you a hunting bow. Oh my god, no I'm not. Jesus Christ, it's... Uh-oh. It's expen- Oh no, I gotta sell you a lot of stuff. Hey, I would like to sell you... A whole bunch of things, it turns out. Um, I'm wearing an Imperial Light Helmet, which is 12. And I want to actually put this one on. So let's sell the Light Helmet. Uh, let's sell you all of those. Yo, we're making- we're, the economy is figured out, by the way. Seven, six. The economy is getting figured out. Uh, we're gonna put that on. Uh, miscellaneous, I could sell you a couple things. I think I need all of those, actually. Oh, shit. Um. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything okay, we've already done it, so needs. that's great. Uh, let's sell a couple more things. I will sell that to you. I will sell almost anything to you, frankly, at this point. I'll sell you a couple longbows. I'll sell you that as well. That should put us very close to getting the steel sword, right? We can do the steel sword. Let's go! <clears throat> okay, um... Apparel. Let's put this stuff, this uh, this thingy on. Oh my god, look at that! Apparel. We want to put the helmet on. Oh, if it's got the things on it, it means it's an upgrade. We should do that. Look at that, huh? What We're figuring we it. Ooh! I love this part of the game so much. Of any game, where you're just like everything is. Uh, I use smear if it's simple and strong. Everything is new and getting figured out. You just, you make so much progress. I need to make some leather. Okay. Leather done. Uh, here's the leather you wanted. Ah, good. A lot of weapons Great. and armor need leather for straps. Okay. Fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. I love this. You give me supplies so I don't have to actually spend any money on anything. I, don't, I probably don't need to do it right here. I probably need to do it on the other thing, right? I probably need to do it like here. Workbench? Ooh. Um... Do I need to make more leather strips? Yes. Hope I didn't just fuck that up. Let's see if this works. Okay, hold up. What am I supposed to be making? Hide helmet. Uh oh. What you need, my friend. Within reason. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Can I click on it over here? Yo, I can just take these ingots. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. Okay, I'm running into it. I'm running into an issue. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Uh, how do I make the thing you want me to make? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Skills? Uh oh. That ain't it. Uh oh. Um. Crafting. Uh oh. <laughs> I like how it says, it says that some things I can just take, like that, but other things would be stealing. You if I just sell... Blade? If I just take all the things you let me take, and then I sell them to you, hmm. I make a shit ton of money. Um, do you have any supplies I could take? Like I said, I'm glad to help in Nothing. Girders. Nope, that's the wrong button. Sorry. Um, 
We're gonna figure this out. I don't know that I'm gonna figure it out in this episode. And fixing the sawmill. I... How do I... What have you got for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Uh, how do I make one? How do I make a hide helmet? Shit. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out in the next episode, I think. Um, mm -hmm. anyways, we're crafted. Let's go. We're crafted. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're learning some of the very basics. We can now make our own weapons and stuff, which I'm excited that, uh, I'm excited that it looks like you can, you could probably, like most games, it looks like you could probably find your own weapons to use or you can take the time to learn the skill and then actually get a bunch of really strong weapons that way i have upgraded myself a lot in the last couple last couple minutes hey in the next episode we'll get started on uh we'll probably explore the town a little bit more let's be honest then maybe we'll go over to the to the white white place whatever it's called and uh and get going from there yeah thanks so much thanks so much for watching i hope you're enjoying it we're three episodes in and i i certainly am i'm uh i'm already sitting here doing the mental math on when i can record next so anyways if you did enjoy this episode i'd appreciate a like uh on the bottom of the video and or a positive comment uh below for the youtube algorithm that just helps get these videos in front of other people who are also into uh or looking for this kind of stuff so thanks so much we'll see you tomorrow same time same place 12 p.m est on the youtube channel see you there Bye bye